Hey everybody! Today Rado runs down the Sanctuary Endangered Species, which is a worker placement game where players are trying to make the best animal sanctuary they can. And the way it works is, every round, a bunch of new action cards come out that basically make a worker placement board. Now each one of these cards has a main and a side action they can do. And as the round goes on, players will put their two workers and out and claim cards. So I might go on ahead and snag this one, and then Jen might grab, oh, I don't know, this one, and then say this one, because it's a snake. It's like player A, then B, then C, then C, then B, then A. So uh, the first player is also the last player to place, and my last worker might be uh, this one, let's say. Now, after all the workers are out, players in turn order activate their workers. And here's where things get interesting. Because a worker gets access to the main action of the card that he is on. Like in this case, if I activate this worker, he could breed two different types of animals. So if I activated him, I could breed my zebras over here, and hooray, now I've gone from three to four zebras. That's more points. And now I've got two finches instead of one in my little sanctuary here. So I got to do that main action, but in addition to that, I get to do the side actions of every card that I can see. So from here, this guy can see this card, so he doesn't get to do the top, he gets to the side, which is, hey, um, either develop some land or improve the land you've already developed. So I might develop some more land, which opens up. So now I could do forestation and flooding in this area, which is worth a lot of points. So this guy got to do this car action, plus this action, plus this action, because he can see this side as well, which is uh, either collect some yellow resources, although that might not be worthwhile because his yellow animal, his penguin, he doesn't have any of those yet, or transfer any resource he wants out of his central supply out to where it needs to be. Like say, hey, let's transfer these blue supplies out over here so the finch can get to them so they can breed more easily. So that in one, at one worker can do a whole bunch of actions depending on what he can see. But say my opponent had actually put her worker here instead, now all of a sudden that worker creates a wall. So this guy could only see this action and this, and he couldn't see that action. So your worker placement is as much about trying to get the actions you you want, but also cutting off the line of sight of your opponent's workers. In this case, this guy can do some flooding and he can improve one of the uh one of his habitats, this player can also improve habitat and get an upgrade, plus develop some land, plus uh, get an animal rescue unit. So these, but again, yeah, oh, oh, actually I, I lie though, this guy though, being in the corner, he can't see past this wall. So this guy only gets to flood and uh, gets to develop land. This guy, here by himself, gets access to this top and all of these lower things. So. It's a worker placement game and also, at the same time, an area control game. And that's what makes Sanctuary, the in, uh, endangered species, a very new and fresh take on worker placement, quite unlike anything out there on the market. It's really sharp because there are a ton of different ways to score points. And while the game doesn't last very long, um, if you place your workers right, you can get a lot of actions done. So are you going to focus on breeding more animals and making their habitat better? Are you going to do flooding and forestation? Are you going to fight threats to the animals? And you know that be the primary way you avoid points. Are you going to get lots of upgrades or not focus on those? Lots of things you can do, and again, this worker placement slash area control mechanism is the bee's knees. It is a hoot. It's a blast. There's so much to think about. So while Jen and I love it, this same mechanism is also why we ultimately think the game is not a keeper for us, because worker placement always has the potential to be a little bit in your face, because a player always has a choice. Right, do I take the space that I want because it's best for me, or do I take a place that's okay for me, but it would destroy you not to have access to it? This game takes that decision and multiplies it by a thousand, because you're not only claiming in space for yourself, you're potentially laying claim to everything on either side of you. And depending on where you go, that could really hamper cr crucial key things that your opponents need. Now, that makes it a very fun, very clever, very thinky, and yet very fast playing worker placement game. But like I said, for me and Jen, it probably became a little bit more cutthroat than we would like. And that, folks, is the rundown on the Sanctuary Endangered Species. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a very, very nice day. Talk to you later. So long. Bye-bye.